There are a number of reasons why your doctor may ask you to do spirometry and in this video we will explain and demonstrate how to perform the test with your nurse. Spirometry is designed to test your lung function. If at all possible, your doctor will probably advise you to try and remember not to take any of your usual inhalers or other medications that will affect your breathing on the day of the exam. This is because these medications can impact the results of the spirometry test. A current height and weight along with your smoking history are required to enter into the software program. This helps to determine your predicted values for the test. The nurse will ask you to blow into this machine. When you do, it is important to remember several things. The first is that your lips must form a tight seal around the mouthpiece to ensure that no air escapes. When you blow into the machine, it is important to blow as hard and as fast as you can and to keep on blowing until the nurse says stop. Usually this is for about 6 seconds. Before you blow, make sure you have both feet flat on the floor and that you sit up straight. This allows plenty of room for good lung expansion. In the initial part of the test, you are required to blow 3 times into the machine. In between blows, you can take a quick rest. Good, keep going, 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 stop. Sometimes it feels like a real struggle to keep blowing until the nurse says stop. Do your best to keep going because even though it feels like there is no air coming out, the software program is still measuring it. You may feel like you want to cough during the procedure. If you do, please try and blow through the cough and then cough at the end. Once you've completed the first three blows satisfactorily, the nurse will administer salbutamol via a spacer. Many people also call this Ventolin. This part of the spacer goes into your mouth. Again, form a tight seal around the mouthpiece with your lips so that no air or medication escapes. The nurse will administer the Ventolin into the space chamber. There is a valve at this end of the spacer. This prevents the medication from escaping. Once your lips are sealed firmly around the mouthpiece and the medication has been administered into the chamber, breathe in and out through your mouth and keep doing this until the nurse asks you to stop. This allows the salbutamol to diffuse down into your lungs. Once you have inhaled the salbutamol, the nurse will ask you to return to the waiting room to wait for around 10 to 15 minutes and give the medication a chance to work. You may notice a decreased sensation of tightness in your chest. Your heart rate may also speed up. Both of these reactions are perfectly normal. Once the time is up, your nurse will call you back to the clinic room to complete the test. This time, again, you are required to blow into the spirometer three times. This half of the test is to check and see whether or not your lung capacity has been increased after inhaling the salbutamol. The nurse will print your results and give them to the doctor for analysis. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it's helped with understanding what is involved with spirometry. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask your doctor or nurse. We're here to help at Currambine and Ocean Keys Family Practices, where patients come first.